Joined by Fox NFL analyst Greg Jennings. Greg, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So which team has a better chance of winning the NFC? The Los Angeles Rams. Woo. I, I like this team. I like this team a lot. And when I look at their remaining schedule and I look at New Orleans Saints remaining schedule, I like the favorable schedule for the Rams. Their next three weeks are probably their toughest weeks. You got the Saints, obviously, this weekend, Seahawks, and then the Chiefs. Then you still have your bye, so you can get guys back. Akeem Tlaib, Cooper Cup, who is practice limited this week. And when I look at the Saints, defensively, they are a bad defensive team overall. Running the running, stopping the run, great. But in this league, what we what we see, <laughs> that's fine. Running. You can stop the run because that's not how teams are winning ball games. They're winning ball games by putting the ball in the air and scoring touchdowns with their passing attack. And both of these teams have one of the most elite passing attacks in all of football. They, the Saints have the better quarterback. I think the the Rams. However, I that love I, I I I love Sean Payton. Absolutely love Sean Payton. But what Sean McVay has been able to do with Jared Goff and this offense and all these weapons, he understands how to use his guys. And I just like what their outlook is better than what I like the Saints. The Saints. They still, even if, even when we look in their division, they have the Falcons who are three and four, the Buccaneers who are three and four, all scary teams when it comes to playing the Saints because they know them. And they still got Carolina. And they still got Carolina twice. <laughs> they have Carolina twice. So I, when I look at the remaining schedule, uh, I think it's more favorable for the Rams. And, and then to add to a question, if there was a team that needed home field advantage more, it is definitely the Rams. Mm. So who you got this Sunday? I got the Rams. Really? I do. Interesting. Well, I think it's the Saints. I picked the Saints to go to the Super Bowl. And even when I looked at their schedule, I thought this was the first time the Rams would lose a ball game, was on the road in New Orleans. And I, here's the thing. And if the Saints can get home field, it's a different animal in that dome. It is. And I think the thing, and what happens is the uh, Rams haven't lost a game. Saints have lost one. Now, if the Saints can hang an L on the Rams, mm -hmm. now... Even though we have the same amount of losses, I own the tiebreaker because I beat you head to head. Mm -hmm. So I like the Saints in this. And I agree. Now, the Saints do a great job of protecting Drew Reed, Skip. He's been sacked only nine times in seven games. Now, they got a hell raiser coming to town in Aaron Donald. Skip, the dude has been double teamed. 70% of the snaps. Don't matter. But he leads the league in sacks. That's unheard of. 70% of the snaps, he's been double teamed, mm. but he leads the league in sack. Boy, Steve stayed up really late. Yeah, no, 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 Skip, don't do that, Skip. Can, That's me. I can just feel him pull No, I mean, I, 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 ain't got no, I got two pieces of my eyes right now. Does, does he actually, you're like, he, he's your ventriloquist, right? He's. What'd you say, Tyler? Oh. Tyler said, leave, <laughs> Tyler said, Tyler, your guy said, leave me alone. Really? No, he's probably feeding the information, too. I don't know. Their front seven, I like the Saints' front seven. But it's that back seven. It's Williams. It's Crowley. Skip, that's why I'm surprised. And they went and got uh, uh, Eli Rodden Apple. I mean, Eli Apple. But that was the wrong pick. Right position, wrong pick. I'd have tried to move heaven and earth to get Pat Peterson. I, I would everybody did. I, I would have. I, I would have given it up. up because now they're the prohibited favorite mm -hmm. with with a, a, a Lattimore on one side and, 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 and Pat P on the other side. Mm -hmm. That's a whole different animal. Yep. But I like the Saints to win, and I think they're good. Um, their schedule is very favorable. Uh, they get home field throughout. It's going to be the Dickens for somebody to go in that dome and beat them mm. because that place is electric. And it's regular season, it's electric. But it's a whole different animal come playoff time, Skip. Mm. So, I believe this is a must-win for the Saints, and I believe they will win. And I also picked the Saints before the season started to get to the Super Bowl and represent the NFC. But the last two Fridays on this show, I actually stuck with my Super Bowl oh, pick on the road. Ain't nobody and I, wait, 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 wait. I picked them at Baltimore and at Minnesota to win on the road. And the man across from me had no faith. And he picked Baltimore and Minnesota to beat the Saints that he picked to go to the Super Bowl. So I'm just, for the record. We don't need that for the record. For the you record. That. I picked them to go to and win the Super okay. Bowl. I ain't say nothing about what their record was going to be. Do you have to be undefeated to get you to the Super Bowl? You always trying to throw me under the bus. So 
No, I'm trying to put you in front of the bus. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you can run over me. Exactly. Exactly. Is, yes. So what happened at Baltimore and at Minnesota? The Saints were a combined 68 rushing attempts to only 54 passes. Ooh, they flipped their usual script. On the road, they ran the football. Over those two games, those were the fourth most rushes in the NFL. The Saints rushed the ball the fourth most times over the last two weeks. They threw it the 22nd most times. So they took the ball in large part, out of Drew Brees' hand, and they put it in Ingram's or Kamara's or whoever's going to run the football's yeah. hands because they want to eat the clock a little bit and keep their defense off the field. So they want to drive it and keep the score lower. Mm -hmm. This is not your grandfather's saints. You know, mm -hmm. this isn't the way they used to do business. So that's why I like them more this year than I've liked them last year. That's why I think they still have a chance to win the NFC. Now, back to your schedule point, their closing schedule is the toughest in the NFL. Mm -hmm. And I do not love it for the saints because they still have to go to Cincinnati. They have to go to Dallas. They got Pittsburgh at home, and that's beyond the games they still have to play that you mm -hmm. point out in the division. All those games, and they got Carolina twice and Atlanta again. And they so got to go to Tampa. Hard. Who it's little hard. I know. It's hard. And Tampa shell-shocked <laughs> them and blindsided them yeah. with Fitz magic on opening day yep. at uh, in New Orleans. Right. So the Rams don't have nearly as hard a schedule. They got Kansas City and Mexico City. I don't know. That that could be a coin toss. And then they go to Detroit, go to Chicago. They got your Eagles at home, Seattle at home. I don't know. It feels like even if the Saints win this game, which I do believe they will, that they're still at some point going to have to go to Los Angeles yeah. to get to Atlanta in the Super Bowl, right? I, I, I hear all of that, but for me, the game for the Rams was this past Sunday against Green Bay. Green Bay coming into their house, a team that everybody has pretty much not written off, but we know who Green Bay is. We know who that guy is under center, Aaron Rodgers, and what he can do mm -hmm. to your opposing defense. And then the way the Green Bay Packers played defensively against the Rams, I think that was a huge wake-up call. I think this that game that they were able to win, however they won, mm -hmm. was a huge game going into this week understanding that we have another juggernaut with Drew Brees under center, a, a defense that can get it going at home. Mm -hmm. They have to find a way to win the tough games, not always the way we see them winning blowouts. Right. The close games sometimes, the ugly games, and they did that last week, and I think that's going to propel them even going into this week. What okay. concerns me about your Ram, the Rams in this game is that Green Bay ran the ball really effectively against them last week. And we know New Orleans, with that two-headed monster, can run the ball. I think what the Saints did when they went on the road, Skip, is that we don't want to have a whole lot of checks. Crowd noise come into play. And we don't want to have hit Drew get hit in the back, scooping scores. Let's run the football. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if they throw the ball a little bit more. But given that the Rams give up a lot of yards running the football, Hey, it might be another situation where they get 30, 35, 40 carries in this ball game mm -hmm. and try to run them out of the building. Because I don't want to have Drew dropping back 35 times. Because eventually, mm. Aaron Donald going to hit you in the back. Mm. He's going to get you. He's that good. Okay. So you're still sticking with Saints? I'm sticking with Saints. I'm sticking with my Saints. I'm going with my pick. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I think you're covering Saints, No, 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 no. Saints going to run the ball. Yeah. I, would, I would run the it's, ball considering mm. that the Rams struggle against the run. Mm. That's what I would do. So is it a shootout? I think lower scoring. I think they'll do it again. I think they'll run it more than they throw it. I do. In, I, I, I think the game, game's going to get in the mid-20s. But, but, Greg Jennings, you are so bullish on the Rams right now. I think Alex probably is, too. I'm right there with you. Being an Angelino. But the point <laughs> is, <laughs> if they win this game, as you say, is it possible they're going to go 16-0? and 0? No. No, I, I never I never favor a team going 16-0. and 0. That is so difficult to do. And when you look at it, I, it you never know. Seattle... Is not a bad football team. So but right it's after at, it's at LA. It, it, yeah. it, but in my opinion, it's a division. It's a division, it's game. A division yeah. game. It doesn't matter where it's played. Mm. And when I look at the schedule, I, none of these games are just give me uh, mm. until you get to the last two: yep. Carolina and 49ers. That's why we haven't even mentioned them. Mm. But they still have to play. I think this game for me is probably the most important game on their schedule, and I think they get it done. Mm -hmm. I think they treated as such. Last year was such a huge step for the Los Angeles Rams going to entering into the playoffs, losing, not being who that we thought they were in the regular season in the playoffs. I think they learned and gained so much experience from that 
Going down here will be a playoff atmosphere. Sometimes you need these games early in the season so that you can make your run late. Well, Shannon Sharp, back on the Saints bandwagon after two I, weeks off. It's <laughs> okay. Nobody asked you who I picked. I Nobody asked you who I picked the I, previous you, two you weeks. You said it. You said it on the air. I, nobody has to ask you. You volunteered? No, nobody asked you. They know what I said. <laughs> nobody asked you to rehash. To remind them. No, we don't. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking at the Saints. The Saints still have your Cowboys on the schedule. Oh, that's, that's a win. That's an easy win there. Mm. Choke that one up. That's an easy win. All right, Greg, thank you so much Three for joining us. As Skip said, I'm joining you, and I'm picking the Rams. Mm. I know. Welcome. Thank you.